Hello, people. Today I am with you uh, with another one of the MSG kits. I've recently acquired this one. I actually built it today. And uh, as you can see, it is a missile launcher system and a radome. And uh, this one's mounted on the back of my GBN Gundam. So you can see it extends out a little bit too far for the uh, hole on the back of his backpack, but it does its job well being held on by that uh, little apparatus. There are a few different options for how you can mount it. This one seems to be the best for this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and move it on over to the Zaku. All right, the Zaku 2 with it on his shoulder. Uh, I kind of moved it over to the side here, but uh, I think it would work better just like that. And uh, I definitely think it works. It'd be nice if you had both sides matching, you know, maybe have a double rocket launcher. I still like the idea of it being mounted in the back, but it's not bad. Uh, of course, the uh, Jinrai here uh, mounts the radome on one side and the rocket launcher on the other. I really like the way that you can separate those two. The wonderful thing about the 3mm ports is you can put them almost anywhere on these guys. Uh, these... Um, frame arms kits have plenty of uh, places to do it. I think the Alto will be very similar. All right, looks like Alto does have plenty of places to uh, attach this guy. Uh, you can put him on the shoulder, on any of the three millimeter holes that you, uh, the copious amount that they give you on these uh, wonderful kits. Uh, so you can put it on his arm here, on his leg. His back has several. I would uh, probably go ahead and do it on the back here. Wrap it over his shoulder. How did I have it last time? Something like this? Oh, now I don't remember. Maybe it was on the bottom. There you go, something like that. I just kind of plug that in here. Or not, because it seems like I did it the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, that fits in there just fine with the three millimeter peg. And you got the uh, rocket launch system. And then over here we got our Roy Roy with the radome. So he's a radome Roy Roy. <laughs> Fun. All right, Architect with the radome on her shoulder. The uh, missile launcher on her back, actually. Uh, not entirely sure how effective that'll be with her hair in the way, but it's not too bad looking. I think I would rather put it in her leg somewhere like down there, uh, jutting outwards a little bit further, maybe even on that shoulder port. But I thought that looked pretty good. Man, I kind of wish I got two over here because that radome and another side of the radome would look perfect like Mickey Mouse ears. Uh, Magical Girl is not limited to just magical items. As you can see, she can also transform her hair into missile launchers. So that's fun. All right, and my favorite little guy, Nero here. Looks like he got stuck on artillery watch, on artillery spotting duties. Not very happy about that, but he can hold that no problem. I will ever be so impressed with this little guy and how he is capable of carrying such a massive load. Like, look at that, even just touching it makes it off balance, but. He was standing just fine a second ago. Let's see, there you go. Come on, buddy, you are doing so great. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a uh, nine times out of 10, he's holding that thing up pretty well. There you go. Uh, so yeah, that's my guy, little Nero here, holding that thing up. Pretty crazy. All right, and last but not least, we have uh, the, uh, Alex Gundam, and he is not capable of mounting that anywhere. I wanted to see if I can make him hold it in his hand here. Um, possible. I mean, it wouldn't look smart, <laughs> but I've seen uglier. Press it up against his chest there. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it works. A uh, little blue tack will keep that in there nice and tight. Um, otherwise, he can't really mount that anywhere. There's no 3mm ports on this guy. But uh, 
that doesn't look too shabby. Uh, let me show you guys you know, what, is, what comes with this wonderful little kit. So you get the rocket launcher, you get the radome in two parts. You can take this guy off here, put that one back in. Plenty of uh, three millimeter porting on the rocket itself. This comes out so you can flip it over so you can mount it on either side or to the front or back just to give you different angle options. This also comes out so you can put it this way or that. And the reason why you would want to do that is because these overlap one on top of the other. You know, one opens longer than the other. Uh, you get your rockets that need detailing. Uh, nothing inside here, so that's just a hollow piece. And a really cool backing part. Let me put these guys back on, right? There you go. You also get this little mount here. And that is uh, maneuverable here. Rotation. And a peg here. So, whatever limits you can do that. Um, you get two of these. Don't know why you need two, but you do get two of them. There is another piece that is exclusively used to turn a wrist joint on a frame arms architect into a mount for your rocket launch system. So that'll plug into here and it'll be replacement for a hand. Kind of cool. And you get a lot of these poly caps. Uh, they are PCA in the frame arm series, but uh, you only use one of them in here, so you get all that left over. Uh, not a lot, but it's respectable. Um, I really like the way it looked for most of the units. I even like the way it looked on the Zaku, um, which I thought looked, was the clumsiest adaptation that I did. But uh, it is a really nice set, and like I said, I got this today. So I built it today and it doesn't look too bad for being a rush build uh, to get this um, this series started back up with you guys. I have a couple more sets that I'm going to go ahead and continue doing and seeing if I can get my hands on any more of the sets that are out there. Not easy, but it's not impossible either. Um, this one is really cool and I'm glad I bought it. I wasn't thinking that it was going to be as cool as it is. And I definitely want to get a couple more, especially with the, <laughs> the radomes on a magical girl's head. I thought that looked really cool. But with that out of the way, I'll go ahead and conclude and say thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys the next time, or you'll see me, or you'll see my kits. Have a good one. Bye.